Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is March 29th of 2017. And last night I made a video and I finished the video, or I made a this YouTube video and we had uh, a storm came through, a small one, and I lost, <laughs> lost power and uh, for just a short period of time, but lost the video. I'm doing it over again, but I'm going to totally, well, I just, re so it's going to be different anyway, because I just received this. And, big box, pretty good, you know, pretty good size box, but small computer. There is a computer. Just think if I could do time, go back in time, go back to when the United States was going to put a man on the moon and if I could have gone back with this technology here uh, this Asus Chrome box $200 for uh, 4k a uh, 4 gig of uh, memory this would have been so powerful for for them much more powerful than what they use to send a man to the moon and here this is two hundred dollars a complete chrome box so if you're looking at this you're seeing this keyboard I got this uh, yesterday or the day before ninety nine dollars and uh, keyboard and mouse. Now it's not nearly as rugged as the keyboard that you may have seen me using. It is wireless where the other was wired. And I had a much better uh, mouse that I was using but these <clears throat> this is you can buy these individually but uh, $99 and the reason I got it is if you see the the three white buttons one two and three really neat you can set it up so and I already did that with my uh, Chrome book over here so with button number one is set up that when I type on the keyboard it's for the desktop computer uh, when I hit number two up here and type it goes to the by Bluetooth to the Chrome book same with the mouse there's a one two and three button on there when I hit one mouse works here hit two works over there and with this Chrome book it's going to be I'm going to set this up for number three by the way super super easy to uh, set these up the keyboard you like for the keyboard you push the number one for a little bit short period of time it starts flashing then you have Bluetooth turned on you look on Bluetooth and right away you'll see it listed you t hit whatever it is uh, accept or enter or link or whatever and you're you're linked then you go and do your next one super simple simple now you can use it does come with one of those USB uh, toggles that goes into you can use USB for one computer but I'm using I'm going to use Wi-Fi now for the keyboard of course I or for the monitor I'm I have this white screen when he's white screen monitors that's what I'm going to use for the desktop I'm not attempting to hook up any of these other and use the monitor because I would have to reach under here and toggle the thing and switch to the other HDMI input or what I'm not going to do that so, for this, although I use the mouse and the keyboard with it sometimes, I will, uh, I'll still use the screen here, which is really, really nice on the, this is a Chromebook, uh, I didn't pull it up, uh, it's the Chromebook, whatever, not the Pro, the other one, the smaller one, uh, 
So, by the way, I'm using the uh, Logitech Brio 4K. I don't think I'm, do I'm not doing this in 4K. I'm doing it in um, 1080, uh, 60 frames. Let's see. 1080 and 60 frames a second. But you know, I I mentioned this yesterday. I think I did a video too. Uh, I think we're not we're not getting because it depends on how I upload this when I process the. Uh, but back to I just got this. Just open it up. It feels nice. Really well built. And uh, let's go back to it. There it is. So, okay, this is the two, two gigabyte. I just wanted you to see it, $160. This is the two gigabyte here on the screen. This is the four gigabyte. So I'm going to eliminate this now. Now here's the four gigabyte. By the way, I watched uh, several YouTube uh, videos on this. You can just pop off these two little rubber, or the four rubber feet. There's a screw underneath each one. You unscrew it, case opens up, and the two memory chips are right there. You can pop them out, and for, I think it's $59, you can uh, buy two four gigabyte chips. Pop them in, and you have eight gigabytes, which you really do not need with a... Chromebook or a Chrome box. You really don't need it unless you decide to convert this to Linux or something else. But if you're doing Chrome, if you're using the Chrome operating system, this apparently is all you need. So, you get the computer. Uh, you get a piece of paper that, uh, I don't know, tells you something. Who looks at it? Do you really look at them? Let's see. In Search of the Incredible... Getting to know your Chromebox, so that, you know, I don't think you need a book, but in case you do. And I'm not sure what this is and don't really care. Another in, that was basic steps. One, two, three, plug in a power supply, uh, plug in a monitor, that's it. This though is interesting. They give you a mounting thing, so you can mount this on the back of a monitor. That's pretty neat. What do they call that uh, Vista or whatever? That monitors are set up sort of standardized, so that you can so you can mount this on the back of a uh, monitor. I might do that. I haven't looked. I'm sure this. But I'm not sure about this monitor over. I don't know. That's nice of them to include that. The power, that's, this is it, uh, except for some, oh, screws for mounting to the back of a, and here's the so power supply, which is just about almost as, almost the same size as the computer. So, I'll be plugging in an HDMI, that monitor over there. And uh, I'll have to find a speaker. I have some around here, speaker. Uh, there's two USB 3.0. I can go into the network cable. Well, of course, it's also Wi-Fi. Power supply goes there. And there's two more uh, USB 3.0. And there's some type of a locking device, I think, to secure this if a cable. If you have this at a someplace in an office or something you could secure it to the desk a little bit and a place to put in a SD card for some extra memory I'm not sure how big it's a full-size SD card I have micro but I have an adapter thing to put it in I'm not sure how big how much I think they're 128 gigabyte so uh, what else 
I am not really going to, I'll just fill you in on how things are working as I go along. So my project today is to, this morning, hook up this uh, Chrome box. I'm really looking, for, I think it's really going to be fun. As you know, I hated the Chrome book that I had before. I gave it to my daughter Hillary and it's working out great for her. But I do like this one so far, but I mean, it's, it's uh, because of the tablet mode and because you can do Android uh, apps on it also. And I don't know if this is going to be, this isn't ready for, and I'm not sure if it will ever be, if it's ever going to be uh, where you can use Android apps on it. They have a, a bunch of, you can get the list of uh, Chrome devices that do accept now, but I'm not sure if this is one. I hope so, but so I'm going to hook this up and the next video I do, or one of them, will be, uh, if you can hear that, I live next to a naval air base, reserve base, air force and several military branches use the airport. Um, so I'll be filling you in on how this all works. I should be operational very quick. And I thank you very much for watching. I mean, was there anything I've also wanted to... No, I told you about the new keyboard and the mouse. I may be doing a sort of a review on it because I didn't find much on YouTube reviewing it. Uh, this I may be talking about a little bit because I've got a lot of experience. My first webcam uh, or my first camera that hooked to a computer was hooked to the parallel port, printer port, RS-232 port, and it was black and white. And I progressed through and I have another camera up here that's the uh, C930E or something like that and uh, so I've gone through so although there are a lot of reviews of this and much better reviews than I will in fact I'm not even going to call mine a review where people have three or four cameras. Well, I've never seen four, but three cameras. And they're showing it at the same time on the screen. Here's the video and and uh, from each one. But I'll just tell you my perspective uh, of it as I go along and as I learn. And uh, so, and this, there are a lot of reviews of this. So I won't really be doing a review of it, but I'll tell you the progress and what works for me and what doesn't work. Thank you very much for watching.